Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kids Own TV. We are so excited for today because at this no, moment- No, 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 no. Finish the movie right now. Finish the movie. The movie, yeah. You, the movie. I, I know the movie. You lost all the milk. What What more is there to the movie? I don't know. The Read the script. <sighs> Cowboy interrupts narrator to continue on his- what? So I'm the narrator in this movie? Morgan Freeman was unavailable. Oh. And oh. too expensive. Okay, all right, all right, fine. Cowboy sits saddened by his failure. We lost, we, we lost everything. Well, not, well, we just lost the milk, not everything. I'm a cow. Milk is everything to me. Well, look, we can't just sit here and do nothing. Think about it for a second. If the machine destroyed all the milk in the universe, then there's probably a way to get all the milk back from the machine, right? It's not just the machine, it's it's me too. It's I'm part of the problem. It, it's the milkman and the machine, and I I just don't know how to to beat him. Well, well we we gotta at least try to do something, right? You're right. We have to try. So where do you think he is? The dairy section. It's part of his plan all along. Cowboy then went on his way to confront the milkman. Aha! The supermarket is super once again! No milk in sight! It's wonderful! Hey, stop <laughs> right there, you <laughs> monster! Don't sneak up on me like that! Too late! You're gonna reverse that machine right now! Well, I actually can't! It's kind of... It's kind of broken! Uh, I mean, it like sucked up all the milk in the universe, so it's kind of at its limit here. Wait. Tough, oh. tough luck, kiddo. Oh, all of it? That's... Wait, that's it? That's it? You can't... It's all gone. It's all gone! It's all gone, Carl! It's all gone! <laughs> Say something! It hurts! Uh, Sean. Uh, yo, is this... It says there's a six... Six-year gap. Uh, like one of those things pops up on the screen and it says six years later. Is that right? Okay, let's see what happens six years later. What's up, Yanes guys? Welcome back to the podcast. It's called Power. And today, we're gonna be doing the Sour Patch Kids Challenge, right? That's right, Carl, but I ask you, what's the point of the chocolate? It is gone! <laughs> Hey, hey, pull it together, man. Come on, we're gonna do a challenge. How, how many of them things do you think you can stack right here on this there table? Maybe like four. You got more in you than that, come on. One, that didn't work. What? Two, two. What are you doing? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be trying to be a superhero? Well, what else should we do? You think that was the only machine that could be made to go rescue the milk? I don't even know what to build. It's not a matter of what to build, but when to build it. What? I think he's talking about one of them there time machines. Well, actually I was talking more about the two of you already having start. You know what, or we can go with that. Wait, so we could just go back in time and save the milk? No. You go back in time to stop the milkman from ever pushing that button. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do this thing.
machine ready, they were ready to travel in time. This'll be the adventure of a lifetime. A cowboy, remember, God made you into the strong person that you are. Don't doubt yourself and believe. Believe in who you are and the person that God made you. All right, it'll be tough, but I think I can do it. You can do this. Oh, oh, no, get, get, I think get I accidentally hit this! No! Their first stop in time was worship at Kid Zone. When I was searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me You were the whisper Leading me to your heart Forever I belong to you Now I can see clearly I'm not 
Alright, now, the time machine doesn't give us an exact read of where or when we are, so let's find out when are we. Oh, well, okay, first location, uh, help us figure out when are we, are we, are we uh, in the underwater city of Atlantis? No, 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 we were at the Justin Bieber concert! No, 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 we're maybe another option could be, uh, oh, oh, I know, the, we're at the pyramids in Egypt. That's right. That's, that's probably right. right. But that was a good guess, Carl. I want you to keep that up. Thank you. Keep that up. All right. Let's do it again. All right. Uh, next. Next place. Um, when? When are we? We are. Oh, are beautiful. Are we in? Are we in Taco Bell? Taco Bell? Nah, we in Kennywood. No. Well, maybe. It kind of looks like it. Oh. Oh, I know. We're. We're at the Grand Canyon. But I can see how you confuse that with Kenny Wood. It's, it's yeah. huge. A lot of hills. <laughs> a lot of hills. Oh, okay. When are we? Oh, oh, I think I have a good guess. Uh, it's uh, it's the flood before Noah. Dude, that can't be right. This is gonna be sandcastle. No, maybe. Uh, oh no, wait. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's uh, Presque Isle, Lake Erie. Uh, no, it's it's the it's the flood before Noah. It's the flood before Noah. Oh, this water's getting. It's getting deep. It's getting deep. Okay, Rick. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Okay, okay, where when when are we? Oh, oh. When when do you think we are? Ah, uh, this looks like a game of Rocket League to me. Uh maybe uh Oh, oh, maybe uh Oh, maybe it's the movie Cars. Oh, it could be. That was Lightning McQueen right there. Nah. No. Uh, this is the Lego factory. No, no. Oh, I know. I know. We're in the future flying cars. Whoa, okay. This is, this is land before time. Uh, maybe, uh, oh, maybe it's a pet rescue. It's, no, I, I think we're back with the dinosaurs, man. The, the dino, ah! Ah! Whoa, oh, what is this? Oh my, is this Dollar Bank? What are they doing? Is this Black Friday? No, oh, I recognize this, this is, this is Giant Eagle, but when? when? We can't. The toilet paper! There's no toilet paper, it's Carl! It's all gone! There's no toilet paper! <laughs> so much red. Whoa, it smells so good. <sighs> is that pickle juice? No, no. Is it, is it Ma's kitchen? It can't be. I think we're at church. There's a lot of friendly people here. No, they have name tags, Carl. Yeah. This is this Chick fil A! Fil -A. Hey, 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 chicken! Hey, chicken <laughs> Whoa, <Waffle fries. laughs> oh, 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 man! We did it! We're back in the yeah. supermarket. Now, if my calculations are correct, we have about 15 minutes before we show up. Oh, well, we can't let that happen. I can't, I can't even stand looking at myself in the mirror, let alone in person, am I right? Uh, I guess. He's... Wait a second! You two are here, that can only mean one thing. You are the versions of yourselves from the future and you've come back uh, in time. Well, no. So I did it! I The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. 
As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits, you know. The cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do. And they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus... By showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm gonna put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would've came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt 
and light herself. Wait a second. Did the cameraman cut off my monologue? It was so villainous. But I did it. I did it, now do it again. I'm gonna eliminate milk from the universe. <laughs> no, not this time. What do you mean not this time? You can't, you can't do anything about it. You're a bad superhero. You're not even worthy to wear those spots. No. What do you mean, no? You heard me. Jesus has given me the power to not have to listen to anything that you have to say. Oh yeah? Well that line was too cheesy, so how about I do this? How about I eliminate all dairy from every reality? No. I. Am. Cowboy. Let's do this, boys. Three, two, one, let's oh. battle! Oh. I'm gonna beat you again like I did last the Let other the time. Flow through me. Yeah. I am oh, one with the moo! Ah. <laughs> You're done, boy! <laughs> Woo! The champ! Moo! Cowboy! Oh, moo kind! That's right! In every moo verse! Take that, villain! <laughs> moo! Yeah, yeah. After saving the milk, they went back to Master Moths. Why did you make that a sound effect? Oh, where'd you guys come from? What? Where? I think you meant when did we come from? Young man, young man, what day is it? Dude, it's like August. Okay. You want to get some milkshakes? August? Milkshakes? <laughs> we did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah, boy! Did what? Yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> the ignorance. <laughs> I'm alright. I mean, didn't we just train together? Uh, oh, no. It it was like a movie. We we went back in time. We had a major battle, arm wrestling. It was it was, it, it doesn't sound that epic. It was pretty epic though, in my <laughs> mind at least. It was, it was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then and we we saved the milk. That's right. Oh. That's right. Tell him how we did it. Tell him how we did it. Well, okay, at first it, it was difficult because I didn't know if I could believe in myself. But God reminded me who I was, who I was in Jesus. And I believed in myself and I believed in God. That's right. And what he could do through me. And it's like my favorite verse, Psalm 145.3. No one can completely know how great God is. And God is really amazing. And in the end, it's because of him. That's why we won. I, had, I actually thought it was the time machine, but I like that one better, am I right? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna get, actually, another sub. And milkshakes. So you wanna go get one? Yeah, yeah we go. do, sure. We I'm pretty sure. hungry. Time traveling really takes the calories out.
I'm telling you, you gotta eat a sub first. Come on, man, pull, pull your weight. Oh.